This is our check-in weekend, so we're expecting 2,000 students today and tomorrow. When they come here, they can check in, they can get information on all our facilities. We run about 300 events every year. We're also giving out bedding packs and kitchen packs, welcoming students and their parents, families and guardians, and making sure it's a fun day. We have our student helpers. We still employ our own students. Um, to help with the enrolment and registration process. It's really good, it's really, really busy, but everyone's sort of just excited to get started at uni. Well, we basically check their IDs and check that they've done their online inductions and check that their payments are set up, and then we check them into the rooms and send them to get keys. They're very excited about getting their student cards, that's all that matters to them. So we're really here, you know, to help the, help the students settle in, make sure everything's clean and tidy, and just really just help them, you know, this is the beginning of their journey, so we're really here just to make it, you know, a positive and happy kind of experience for them. Really we're here to make sure that students are having the best possible experience during their stay here. So organising events for them, obviously this couple of weeks in particular, helping them move into their accommodation, helping them get settled, ensuring they know where everything is, getting them to sign up for our events so that they can start to meet other students and get a good sense of community. I'm one of the main security officers here at the Elms Village. We're based here 12 hours out of the day. We're here for them but for any medical conditions, we're first aid trained, we can look after them. I'm a housekeeping assistant, so basically during the summer we work here and uh, we prepare all the rooms and make sure the rooms are the highest standard for the students. Well, we look after all of the students at, uh, for accommodation, uh, which is about 2,200 beds. If they've got any frustrations, bring them to our reception or through our maintenance help desk and we'll do what we can to try to make their life as comfortable and as enjoyable at Queen's as we can. Last year we ran a quick um, analysis of our, of our nationalities and we actually had 66 nationalities staying with us last year. There were students from Myanmar, India, Oman, USA, Canada and Australia, so students from all across the world. It's really nice to um, meet the students and chat away to them and make them feel comfortable and I think that's really rewarding as well and you know just tell them that they're going to have a really great year and it's going to be amazing. It's just a bit of the adrenaline rush you know that you know you're helping people, you find out their stories and there's been some heartwarming stories. That service that you have which you just don't have in private accommodation so if there's an emergency or if something goes wrong there's a dedicated team there to help you out. I think from day one uh, when they're when they're saying bye bye, you know, to their their mom and dad and their grandparents, from that moment and just watching them grow and that watching, you know, how they can have a real positive experience. It's great. <laughs>